Hi everyone, welcome back. What I like terms, algebra. If I watch American movies, they all talk about algebra like it's some horrible thing that no one has any idea about. What is, when we talk about algebra, we're talking about a letter in place of a number. So I could write the word number, and historically some of the stuff I've learned years ago from a friend is they used to write the word number from the idea of they're trying to solve something. So if I said I had a number plus three, equals four. What's the number? Most you look at it and say, well, one plus three is four. So you can write that the number, in this case, is one. But what if I said the number plus three equals, uh, I don't know, let's go 10. So in this case, it's gonna be seven. So what if I wanted the number plus three equals five? In that case, the number is gonna be Two. So we're using this concept of finding a number or calling it a number. Now people got sick of writing that or started to standardise over time that they said instead of writing number, why don't we write N for number? Now I don't know historically if they wrote an N, but let's say they did. You could have put N there. The interesting part is over time, because of other reasons, uh, we ended up the most common letter that people used was a letter X. Now when I'm looking at a Japanese textbook or any textbook, well, I haven't looked at textbooks from lots of countries, I have seen them in Indonesia, I have seen Japanese textbooks, I've tutored a student from Jap Japan, and her textbook was talking about algebra and it was all about X, and actually after X commonly is Y. So you can use a letter in place of a number and learn rules about it. The reason is we want to solve real life situations. But let's go back to the basic rules. If I had two X, and I had 3x. 2x and 3x are called like terms because if that x turned out to be 5, this is 2 lots of 5, 2 lots of 5, and that's 3 lots of 5, lots of 5. So all together we have 5 lots of 5. And let's see what happens here. 2 lots of 5 and 3 lots of 5 is 5 lots of 5. So this is the common sense, two lots of five and three lots of five, it's got to be five lots of five. Two lots of 10 and three lots of 10, so two lots of 10, 10 and 10, and three lots of 10, what's that all together? We've now got five lots of 10, so what's the rule? So two lots of 10 and five lots of 10, 10 is, uh, two lots of 10 and three lots of 10 is five lots of 10. So that's if you knew what the number was. But we don't know what the number was, especially when it's an equation that we're trying to solve in the real life situation. So the rule comes down to this. Just like what happened with those numbers, if I had a 2x and a 3x, I get 5x. And that's called collecting like terms. If I had 3x and I had 5x, 3x and 5x, I'd get 8x. Now a lot of people will talk about things like x-rays, 3x rays and 5x rays or 8x rays. Not really x-rays, I'll do it at times to get some students who are struggling with the concept. It means a number. So if this was 3 lots of 11 and 5 lots of 11, it's 8 lots of 11. Now we're not talking about 11 in this case, we're talking about any situation. So what if I had 4x plus an x? Let's say it was 11. 4 11s plus another 11 all together is 5 11. So what happens with the rule? It's four of them, and another one of them makes five of them. What if I got subtract? What if I had six x take two x? Now a lot of students get caught up and they go six take two is four. But it's not four. If this was 10, six lots of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. Minus two lots of 10. And what do we get? Get from what was left over? Four lots of 10. So it's not 4, because 60 minus 20 is not 4. It is 40. So 6 lots of x minus 2 lots of x is 4 lots of x. But what happens if we have different letters? So if I had 6x plus 2y, this could be a number and this could be a different number. So let's say this was 6 lots of 10. Well, let's make it easy. Let's go 4 lots of 10. So I don't have to write so much. So that's 4 lots of 10. And so that turned out to be 5. 
that would be two lots of five. So what I end up with is I've got the 40 minus the 10, which is 30. Now, if I went four plus two is six, what would I do with the X and the Y? What does that become? I can do all sorts of weird things to it. I can make it X, Y, I can make it X plus Y. These are different amounts and they're different sizes. So I can't come across here and go four of those take two of those is two lots of five. Would that work? No. Would I say it's two lots of 10? Would that work? No. And you can go on and on about these are not like, they can't be added together. So in that case, that just stays the way it is. We can't do anything with it. But if I see the 4x plus a 2y plus a 5x, that's where you go. This one can be added with this one. So simple rules, the x's can add together. 4x and 5x is 9x, plus you've got a 2y. Now this comes into equations and solving real life situations like everywhere. So what happened though if I had 4x plus 2y plus 3y? They're not like. So what makes them like? If they've got the same letters in the same way, they're like. So 4xe, there, and I've got the 2y and the 3y, so I've got a 4x. These two we can collect together. Two of those and three of those is five of those. So you can see where they collect together, they've got the same letters. A little bit further without going too long. So if I had a 4x plus a 3 plus a 5, what would that be? This now is not connected to an x or a y or any other letter. This is not connected to an x or a y or any other letter. So the 4 is still connected to that and we don't know what that is. We can figure it out if we have a real life situation. And the 3 and the 5 is just an 8. So if I had 5y plus 6 minus 2, I've got a 5y. And 6 take 2 is actually 4, but what's the trap? It's actually a plus 4. So you can add together. If they're both x, I can add them together. If they're both y, I can add them together. If they're both any other letter, I can add them together. If they're just normal numbers, I can add them together or subtract them. So I can get a question that goes 4x plus 5x plus 6y take 2y. Let's have a look what that is. So the 4x and the 5x becomes a 9x, and the 6y take the 2y, but it's like with 4y, and you can remember though it's not a minus 4y, it's a plus 4y. So that's the basic idea of collecting like terms, I'll make another video.